because if I said, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Uh, Justin, this is Mohammed. Uh, I might have a little technical problem with my browser. Uh, I'm waiting for upload for about a few minutes. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to go through the... I'm just waiting to see if I can go through the, the, the browser issue to get to the, the team app. So I, I hope you bear with me. Thank you.
Mohammed, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm just waiting for a connection. I don't know if you can. Yes, sir. Do you see? Do you hear me? Hello? Hello? Justin, do you, do you hear me? Hello, Mohammed. Yes. Yes, I am here. Do you hear your, your mute button is on. Oh, is it? Let me... Uh, let's try to find out how to make it... Uh, uh, I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me? Can you hear me, Justin? So this is this is uh, Jason. So oh, Jason, can I'm, you uh, can you hear I'm, me? I'm, uh, I, w I work for Justin. Uh, we we understand that uh, you couldn't get on yesterday, so you had to you had to reschedule for today. Um, you so you've got some time now, right? Yes, correct. Okay, very good. Um, so you've applied for a position for uh, for for Cisco as a CDL driver, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. Okay, um, so I'm gonna. I got some questions I'm gonna ask you. Just uh, I'm gonna try to answer as uh, specifically as possible. Um, first, first I'm gonna start out with some of your work history. Yes, sir. Uh, your most recent work history. So, what are you currently doing right now? Well, I am now working for Walmart, and I have a I have a good job as a, a driver, a truck driver. I drive uh, five days. I come home two days. The reason I chose, I, I was researching your company, Cisco, was the fact that you have day cabs, the people will go home mostly uh, every night. Okay. Uh, so that is the main reason. Money-wise, I'm very secure with Walmart. I'm just trying to, to see if you are a, a good choice for me in terms of being able to come home, uh, not every night, I'm very flexible, uh, as far as the six days work and over weekends, I have no problem with that. Uh, I yeah, so we, we, we deliver six days a week, but we, we only work our drivers four or five days a week. And they're, they're home every, every night. Um, you know, you're out, you're out delivering uh, customers. Um, you know, it's, we usually see about 15 customers on average per route. Um, and we unload about, uh, right around 800 cases off of that truck with a hand cart. Um, so you, you'd be, you'd be going up and down the, the ramp, uh, with the hand cart delivering groceries to, uh, to food service establishments, restaurants, hotels, uh, schools, hospitals, things like that. Um. So, so do you understand that part of the... Of the yes, job? I have no problem with that. Sir, how long is the trailer? Is it a, a reefer 53 feet long? No, it's... Uh, our Most of our trailers are 38-foot trailers or 42-foot trailers. Okay. And how long is the route? How, like, how many... Is it... Uh, uh, are, are we talking about a local uh, uh, delivery? Like, because... Is it yeah, like... Local. Okay. Local deliveries uh, within usually less than a hundred miles of driving uh, total, okay. um, but in between all that, you're you're delivering, you know, on average fifteen stops and about eight hundred cases off the off the ramp of the trailer. And the how? All those by hand. Uh, yes, this is not a problem for me. The, my question, my concern is that, is it a, a, like a constant, like is it the same route every day or is it changing all, uh, every week? Uh, so, so it's a set of routes each week. So like, for example, today you might be in, uh, let's say, Sandy, Utah. Tomorrow you might be in Draper. Wednesday you might be back in Sandy. Uh, Thursday you might be in Salt Lake City. So, but you you keep the same routes every week. We don't change every 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 week. We that driver keeps the set of routes every week, so he sees the same customers every week. Perfect. 
how so how about the the beginning of the shift is it uh like how does the shift start is it a certain time do i get a call yeah yeah so it's in, anywhere between uh 3 a.m and 6 a.m uh start at that time and then however long it takes to unload the truck usually about 12 hours 10 10 to 12 hours uh depending on the size of the load and as you, you said, four to five days a week, is it like constant number of days? Like, does it start the same days every week or it rotates? Yes, same days. Uh, and you said the maximum is five days a week? Yeah, so, some of our guys like to work extra. They they work six days, but yeah, we, we, we like to keep guys at five days. Okay, and what is, how about the day? What is that? What's that? Uh, how about the bay? The bay is scale. Like the, you, pay is, the base pay. The is bay is scale. Twenty-five oh five an hour. You said twenty-five oh five an hour. Uh huh. Is it per, per hour or per? Uh, are there any other way, like other elements of the bay scale, like? Uh, yeah. So so twenty-five oh five is the base per hour. We have an incentive base pay program where. Um, essentially, if you can if you can get the job done uh, quicker than the time allowed, uh, yes. you make more per hour. So it's a, there's a scale. Um, it, it goes up to like forty five bucks an hour or something. But our you know most of our most of our guys are around that uh, twenty nine dollar an hour range um, on that incentive scale because they've they've learned how to do the job more efficiently. Um, and they, they stay ahead of schedule, so. Perfect. How about mentoring, for example, from the time uh, somebody gets hired to the time that person is fully uh, independent solo driver, uh, how long does it take that process? Um, so we, we do training for about uh, about four weeks. And then we start get, getting you on your own, uh, um, trying trying to keep the routes uh, not as big as our normal routes uh, for a couple of months. But after after three months, you should be able to handle anything that's that's given, anything that's that's put on your truck. So about three months. Uh, perfect. You said you've been working for Walmart. How long have you been working for them? Uh, two years so far. So before Walmart, what were you doing? I worked for Crete for three years. Like Crete? O yes, Crete, an OTR, like, like 48 states. What did, what do you like, what did you like about Over the Road? Well, uh, over the road is a very difficult job because, but because I was a beginner, I was a beginner and I wanted to see the fort every state in America. So the bay was not that good. The bay, you really don't get paid any, anything. Uh, whatever you get paid, you spend it on the, in the truck stops. Uh, but, okay. uh, but it was a good exposure to every part of America from coast to coast to from, uh, from uh, the north to south. In the beginning, it was okay. Then when I when I discovered that it has a very high toll on my health, because you don't go home. I have a, I pay rent for the apartment. I I only come home three days a, m a month. Oh wow! It was in the beginning. It was okay. I loved it. After after three years, I needed to change. So when I came to Walmart, I started healing physically. Uh, I go home, sleep in my own bed at least uh, uh, two days a week. Uh, the trucks are clean. We have ABU in the trucks. Uh, the sleepers are spotless. The trucks is washed. So the atmosphere in, is, was, in Walmart was exceptionally great. Uh, and still, I am in a process of trying to see if you'll be able to... Uh, to convince me enough that I, I hear a lot of good things about the Cisco, the quality of life, the well-being of drivers, the atmosphere. Uh, so I am in, in that 
point in my life when I tried to convince myself that making a move from Walmart to Cisco is going to be a good uh, a good move. So the way I'm going to do it after I I don't know how how long is the interview going to be like. Is this a is there is a personal in person interview or this is the only interview? Can you repeat the question? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Yeah, I am trying to understand how is the interview process works for Cisco. For example, the inter yeah. interview process. I mean the hiring process. Oh, so you go through interviews. Uh, well, you, you're interviewing me. Uh, I'm interviewing with you now. Um, we we uh, you know we have several candidates that we that we screen um, and and we go through and we we look to see who's who's the most qualified really um, and and basically if. If, if you're not qualified, you get notified that we, you know, we, we haven't chosen you. If, we, if you're qualified, then we go, um, you know, send an, an offer letter and it's up to you from there if you want to come work here or not. That's, that's the process. Um, it can take a couple of weeks um, to get through all of that, but um, yeah, that, that's, that's it. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, tell me about some of the equipment that you've used in the past. Um, you know that as it pertains to this job here. As far as touch freight, uh, I did not do touch freight for over so many years. You, you are talking about twenty years. I did not do the kind of touch freight that you have, like uh, uh, assembling uh, orders from a truck using the hand trucks. I did not do that every day, but once in a while I can use a hand jack, a forklift, a moving pallets, but that wasn't part of my job. My, most of my job was drop and hook, life and load, which it was not touch freight. But as far as the last time I did touch freight, it was not in the food industry. It was medical supplies, sanitary supplies, and it was not like, I don't have to assemble the order. I just pick the equipment, the, drive the truck to the hospital, to the customer, deliver the equipment, and the, some of my equipment was as a bed weighing 700 pounds, I have to put it in a lift, so the kind of freight that you have, the food stuff, I did not have any experience, but I do have a very good experience in electronics, in scanning, going up and down a ramp, using uh, uh, hand jacks, all the equipment that you have, I have the technical skill to do it. But I did not have the kind of, like, I wasn't doing it every day for the last 20, 20 years or so. Okay. Um, so I'm sure you've had to uh, meet specific time windows in your, in your job as a, as a truck driver. How do you make sure that you're, uh, you're delivering on time? Well, of course, that is a very strict policy in every company I work, especially Walmart. Walmart, they don't give us a minute. If a minute over the 14 o'clock or the 16 o'clock is a violation. So the way you, uh, you, you comply with the delivery window is knowing the streets, the maps, the equipments, and planning ahead of time to, uh, to be there on time or before your time for, yeah, I understand the issue of urgency. And I work in that atmosphere. Um, so what, uh, a little more about the job. Tell me what you know about the position that you've applied for as a delivery driver for Cisco. Uh, I, what I saw, all the videos I reviewed for, for, for Cisco and other companies, is that the driver 
comes in the morning to the company that the truck is ready the, the orders are put in ballots he has uh, 15 to 20 customers to go to he have to assemble the orders uh, knows where to uh, to deliver them at the location of the customer you have to find a place to stop the truck uh, unloading uh, Unloading the stuff from the truck, uh, going through the building, knowing the customer, delivering the, the merchandise, scanning them, dealing with the receipts, and repeating that process. Okay, what do you know about Cisco, uh, this this big company uh, in the food service industry? What do you know about Cisco? Well, I I never knew that Cisco makes stuff until I start uh, hearing that Cisco have certain brands. But the major issue I know about Cisco is the biggest uh, uh, food supply in the world. Uh, it delivers to uh, uh, Customers throughout the, t the cities of America and the many countries in the world. So you mainly the difference between Cisco and Walmart is that you deliver to customers, we deliver to stores from DCs, distribution centers to stores. As far as the merchandise or the brand names of Cisco, I really don't know much about uh, the, the details. But that is the general idea I have. Yeah, we're we're just a. Uh, so Cisco doesn't manufacture anything. We we, we have uh, vendors that pack pack items in our brand, just just like Walmart would. Yes. Um, and and we everything's brought here where we warehouse it, and then from that point. To our customers order what we have in stock and it gets delivered on our trucks. Yes, sir. Uh, we do have our own branding. Uh, there's certain levels of our branding, um, but we, we deal with the same national vendors as Walmart does. Um, uh, they all they all make a lot of things for a lot of different companies. So, um, you know, Cisco prides itself on service. You know, we provide a service that's next day delivery on your food orders. Um, and, and, you know, as, as drivers, uh, we're out there in front of the customers as the face of the company, um, more often than our salespeople are. So, um, but yeah, we, good, stable company, fortune 100 company, um, you know, people have to eat, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, people like to go out to eat. <laughs> For sure. So, yeah. How about the, uh, the retention, uh, rate of uh, of Cisco how long like do you do you have a very constant retention of drivers um our retention rate for drivers is around 75 percent okay so you know one one in four over a year's time don't make it was it um, yeah do you have a did you have a problem through the pandemic did you have lay people off through the pandemic uh, we did. Uh, we went through a spell there for about two months, yes. where we uh, we did have to reduce. But uh, after those two months, we were hiring again. We had called everybody back, and uh, this is you know since May uh, of last year, we've been hiring here. So oh, uh, we 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 bounced back pretty quickly because of some of our our business. Uh, we have we have the schools and the schools stayed open in the summer to feed to feed kids, um, so that that kind of helped us through the summer, and then uh, you know ski season right now uh, we're still in ski season a little bit, uh, that's been really busy, and then uh, you know we're we're planning for a pretty busy summer as well. So okay. Um, Tell me about, about safety. How do you? Uh, well, I, time when you, 
uh, when, you, when you work in a safety sensitive position? How do, how do you make sure you're working safely? Well, uh, of course, we go through very heavy uh, training on, uh, on, on safety. And uh, my record is spotless for six years. The last time I have violations were uh, away scale, like missing away scale. That was in the beginning of my career. But I never have a, a collision. Uh, I never have uh, any accident. The only reci recent errors I made two, three years ago was uh, uh, pulling the fuel, uh, the fuel hose out of uh, on, the, on the right side. It's a very common error sometimes we do. I did that maybe once in my twice in my life. The the fuel hose when after you fuel the truck on the left side, that was one of the things I did about two years ago. The other one was in Georgia where I forgot that my cables, my, my red and the blue and the hoses were connected, so I lost them. That was about three years ago. Uh, other than that, the safety we follow strictly the. Get out and look. The all all good kids love milk. All this, the good stuff about uh, the 360 uh, pre trip, uh, taking your times, cutting the speed into half, making a decision in the snow and rain. Uh, yes, uh, on the safety, we are very good in it. On that area, this is our strength in Walmart. Um, what was one of the most difficult tasks you've had to learn in your, in your prior job history, uh, and how did you learn it? Well, the most painful task was when some, when you, when you are in the mentoring and, uh, you get, you are told over and over and over, you have to know how to go in and out of a parking lot of a, a truck stop. Then you forgot that the way you got in, you got out in the wrong way. You discover you cannot make a U-turn with a 75-foot long truck. You have an overpass. So the most difficult part was in Iowa when I made the wrong turn on a, on a dirt road. I followed the GPS. I was told not ever to follow the GPS. You have to have a map. You have to know the customer. I have, it ended up, I have to go back on a dirt road, one lane dirt road for half an hour. Going back with that, with that 40 ton truck, half an hour, it was excruciating. Yeah. That was, that was it. Never happened again. So going to a customer now, going to a truck stop, you have to know exactly how are you going to get out before you get in. This is a lesson that I, I always tell it to other people. Uh, tell me about a time when your work schedule changed unexpectedly and how did you handle that situation? I have no problem sleeping any time. So sometimes when you when when you have no when you have no delivery all day long and then the dispatcher called me at nine o'clock at night he said I have to get from uh, Ohio to uh, to Delaware I have to be there four o'clock in the morning I have no problem managing sometimes I get sleep deprived when things are hectic uh, but get uh, controlling my sleep pattern when can I get sleep when I can get up. I did it for almost now six years. Okay. Um you know, obviously, in the in the in the transportation industry, we need drivers in those trucks delivering our products. Um, you know, so attendance is a big deal uh, for us. You know, we we can't have drivers calling out. Uh, you know, saying they're not able to work. Um, you know, because you know we've got.
got customers that count on us uh, to to be there. Um, like I said before, we work, you know, we deliver from Monday to Saturday, but, uh, you know, somewhere in between there, there's a day off. Um, and Sundays, always Sundays off. Um, we work on the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas are the only two that we're off. Um, do you see any issues being able to show up to work in your schedule? I did not miss a day in the last seven years, only two days when I have to have a flu uh, a flu shot and I become allergic to it. I get fever. I, I was working for Crete. I have to get a, a document from the doctor to, to, to prove that my temperature was extremely high when I supposed to come to work. Uh, that day, the truck was at my home, so there was no problem taking another day off. Uh, okay. it, it did not hurt anybody. The company appreciated the fact that I only come home three days a month. Uh, that was the only two days I missed between 2014 and today's 2021. So in about six, seven years, you can say I missed two, two sick days. I was sick that day. Uh, other, other than that, attendance for me is not uh, very reliable in that area. Okay. All right. Um, what other questions do you have for me um, about the position or Cisco? Well, a uh, few questions. For for example, if if I go through the process, if I'm okay, if if we like each other, if you like me, I like you. Would how long? How much time can you give me to make the transition between Walmart to you? Walmart will need me for me two weeks. Yeah, uh, I mean we we would expect uh, the same. To see a two-week notice is fine. Yes. Uh, uh, you answer my question regarding. I know I see behind you a day cap, so there is no issue with the sleeping in the truck. You, you answer the question about uh, how long the truck is. Uh, you, you told me about thirty-eight, forty-five. Maybe the other question: Are those trucks like three partitions? Is it like a freezing cold? Uh, or is it just one compartment? Um, two or three compartments. Sometimes we mix the cooler and the dry. Okay. Uh, frozen is always separate. Okay. Um, sometimes three compartments. So. The only question that is really on my mind, or the, the, the only concern, are the two things. The, the digital equipment, the digital inform. Uh, like for example, you're going to a customer, you think, say, 50 customers a week. Do you have as very good directions on how to get to that, which part of the building? Because I see people, for example, going to a building and by mistake they deliver to another customer in the same building by mistake. Yeah. Uh, are um, you... Yeah, there, there's, uh, uh, there's notes on our manifest for a lot of our stops that tell you, you know, which door it is. Um, you know, or instructions to call somebody when you get to this place and they'll come get you, they'll open the door for you. Um, you know, part of, part of our training is to get to at least get you to see those accounts one time, at least to see, so that you know where you're going. Yes. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's, we got notes on, on a lot of our stops that tell you where to go. Perfect, Jason. So what will be the next move, uh, Jason? What are you going to do after the interview? Is it like, do you have like... Uh... Um, yeah, so I've been, you know, I've been taking notes here and uh, I've, I've got, uh, I mean, we got we got a lot of interviews this week. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, so we will, uh, we'll, we'll compare notes with the, with the candidates and look at the, look at their experience and, and make a decision. And then, uh, you know, you'll hear from our, uh, our recruiter, uh, some, you know, sometime by the end of the week. Uh, on whether or not uh, we're going to move forward or not. So, um, you know, if we move forward to, to the next phase, it would be we try to set up a second interview. Um, and we'd work that out with you on a certain time frame. But, uh, um, yeah, that, that's how it goes. Perfect. Perfect. Maybe yeah. maybe just before, before you leave, before I let you go, uh, I see sometimes Cisco drivers the, having a double, driving a double on a highway. Uh -huh. What kind of position is that? 
Is it are these people uh, delivering or No, that's just shuttling trailers. Oh I got you. Got you. Yeah, and we have uh we have sixteen uh shuttle yards that we use um for coming out of here. So we have we have shuttle drivers uh, that, that take the product to Boise, uh to Pocatello, to Cedar City, uh all over all over the our our distribution area, so that's what you see in there. They, they don't make deliveries. I got you. Got you. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I don't have Anything another... Else? No, if you have any question for me, you can take your time. I think, I think I'm good, uh, Mohammed. It, it, it was good talking to you. If, if you don't have anything else, uh, we'll conclude the interview and uh, wish you well. Very good. Thank you. Just appreciate it. All right. Have I, a good one. I hope to hear from you. Yeah.